Reaper Squad doing with those video cameras up on A3? Looks like some bitch named Amy's gonna be the poster girl for Serene's PR campaign. Filming confession videos. We blew the library to create misdirection. The media's gonna latch to that, and Amy's gonna tell them the protesters were behind the whole thing. Do you honestly think that's gonna be enough? We made a hell of a lot of noise out there. Well, you haven't seen Serene and Hatch work their magic. Eleven minutes after we left, I heard the cleaners had every bullet hole filled. Police have the whole campus roped off. But guess who paid off the police? Jesus. This elevator looks like the only way out of here. There's gotta be a generator around here somewhere. No power. Figures. There we go. What the hell is that? Hello? Jack, this is Beth Wilder. Beth? I'm... You're the one my brother was looking for. I'm the one who was attempting to rescue your ass until you decided to go on a gun-blazing ship parade through that warehouse. Now listen closely. You're at the outskirts of a Monarch Cronin harvesting operation, and Paul Serene is at the dry docks nearby. Not a recipe for fun times. So how about... Dry docks. If Paul's at the dry docks, then that's where I'm... No! Headed. Jack, the fracture is our only priority now. Time is ending. Will said he... Will's dead. My best friend came back a goddamn monster. He knew this would happen. He prepared for it. Now, Paul's the key to understanding all this, and I'm gonna find him. We both know that if you find Serene, you're not gonna be asking questions. Think this through.
close were you with Serene before the experiment? He'd been looking out for me ever since we were kids. When my parents passed away, Paul's family made sure I got back on my feet. You know, Will wasn't around much. I never did have a tendency to make things easy for myself. <laughs> Guess I dragged Paul into my mess. We spent a lot of time looking for trouble. We found it. He got out, I didn't. You said you owed him one. He saw the path I was on, where I'd end up if I stayed. He got me out of the country, told me to never look back. Until now, I never did. Yeah, you know, we were close. Paul was at the dry docks in the distance. I recognized the place. William had a workshop in that industrial area for years. I knew that couldn't be a coincidence. I did what you said, okay? Please, please just let me go. You did good, Amy. Broadcast just went out, but Hatch wants a follow-up confession. You got the script? Yeah, this one's more reflective. Like, wish we could undo what we done sort of deal. Dave will feed you the lines. Dave? You're using your names. You're not letting me go, are you? You're never letting me go. Please. I didn't do anything. I just... It ain't fair, right? So use that on camera. The protest got out of hand. Thank God Monarch was there to save us. No. I'm not doing this again. You're not letting me go. I'm not going to do this. Are you fucking sure about that, princess? Not the time to play hero. Stay on side. We all go home. Hey, maybe pay those student loans of yours. I'll give you a minute to clear your head. Obviously, you aren't thinking straight. From the protest, what do you... I am so sorry. I didn't want to, but they made me do it. They made you do what? What is this place? They forced me to make false confessions for the news, I think. I'm so sorry, Jack. They were armed. Hey, whatever you did, it's not your fault. None of this is your fault. I'm just glad you're okay. Listen, I need to get to the dry docks. Do you know the way? Uh, no, uh, no, I don't think so. But they took me in through a security station nearby. I can help you find a way through there. I owe you. The security station is right over there. I knew Marnock had a dark side, but this? They're controlling the entire media, everything. They can't cover this up. It's too big. <laughs> they can, trust me. It's locked. Ah, <sighs> okay, there must be a gate control around somewhere. Yeah, I'll check. 
Monarch's twisting the story for the media, claiming the protest went hostile and that we detonated the library. They're blaming you, Jack. I'm Paul Scapegoat. This isn't good. Once that newscast goes live, the whole city is gonna be against you. Nobody's gonna have a clue what really happened. Do you think the others are okay from the university? I have no idea. They told me they were sent home, but I don't know what to believe anymore. It's not holding long. Um, I don't think you're fast enough. That could be fixed. I think you need to get to this side of the gate. Oh my god! You just... You're just like them. Like who? I saw them on the way in. These... Geared up soldiers that blink in and out. Okay. Oh, well, something new to look forward to. You know, I thought I was losing my mind when I saw that. You're part of this. I need to know what's going on. You really want to open that can of worms? You just defied physics. I'm entitled to all the worms. All right, my brother tried to explain. Time is an egg, which is now fucked. A time egg, which is, it's fucked. It's like broken, I, I don't know. What, what? Why is there an egg? Time is ending, Monarch has something to do with it. Get me to the dry docks and I'll find out why. Maybe you can climb through that open window on the second floor? Yeah. That should work. Wait here. Okay, well, I'll fill you in with what I know, but when you put the pieces together, it all goes banana pancakes. So everyone thinks that Monarch is run by this smart <laughs> asshole named Martin Hatch, but everyone here answers to a guy named Paul Serene. And apparently he founded Monarch in 1999. Now, here's the thing. Paul Serene is the exact name of a guy who was heading some top secret physics project at my university. So it's gotta be the same guy, right? Wrong. Now, I heard that Monarch was there to steal the project from the university, but why steal something from yourself? Also, I saw that guy Paul Serene on campus once and he looked like 30 years old. So if he started Monarch in 1999, that would make him 14. So unless he's a Doogie Howser for corporate America, that's impossible. Banana fucking pancakes. So Paul founded Monarch. <clears throat> Need to get up to that open window.
October 9th. Zero four hundred hours. Monarch operation moves into the university in 15 minutes. <sighs> this is it. Years of training all leading up to this moment. Just need to keep my cover just a little bit longer. Monarch's objective is to apprehend Jack and William Joyce. Alive, if possible. If what she told me is true, then this operation is going to end in a shitstorm. It's up to me to make sure Jack gets out of this thing in one piece, but I can't risk blowing my cover just yet. The notebook didn't give me any orders regarding William. Still not sure how Jack is the key to all of this if William is the one with all the answers. We're about to find out. Okay. It's time to do this. Beth Wilder, signing off. Is that another one of those rewind things? I'm starting to get the hang of this. All right, that's that. Made it. Now to get to that door. Mr. Serene's chopper is inbound for- Hey, Clarice. Is that you? This is HQ Alpha. Charlie, I told you to stay off the operations channel. Sure, Clarice, listen. Hatch told me to search for Joyce. I've got footage of Bird taken out of Garden A1. Back of Monarch truck was left open. And now I'm checking cameras in A3 and guards are either sleeping on the job or, you know, not sleeping. You know what I'm saying? Catch my drift? Joyce. <laughs> With a trajectory towards kicking over some expensive-ass sandcastles. Look, I'm gonna keep looking for him. I'm just giving you a heads up, okay? Over an, over an hour or whatever. Finally. Good work. I need to make this right. I'm gonna use the terminal up here and try and dig up what Monarch's really up to. on the scene. Amy, tell us, what is going on here? There were people from our group who took things too far. Shit. Things got very violent. I'm so sorry, Jack. And they forced me to do it. I, I know. Of Jack Joyce. There's nothing you could have like done. A terrifying scene down there. We really that appreciate map over there should help you figure out a route. ...to speak out against what appears to be such a dangerous person. Round zero. That's the same area my brother used to have his workshop. I may have to pass through there to get to Paul. Paul? As in Paul Serene? That's why you're going to the dry docks. We have unfinished business. You may want to stay here until I'm done. Yeah, I think you're right. I'll open the door for you. Okay, stay in contact. Find a radio, I'll be on channel three. And be careful. Yeah, you too.
Still no word on Joyce's location. Yeah, heard his brother scream like a bitch when he died. When he shows his face, I'll make him do the same. Son of a... We're under attack! Can I scream in it for you? My powers were unpredictable. They kept growing by leaps and bounds. Still kicking. Monarch radio is lighting up. They heard a noise and know you're coming. Be careful out there. Thanks for the heads up. Your brother was hired as head advisor on Project Promenade. Given William's concerns with the project, why do you think he accepted the position? He knew he had to get on the inside if he was going to put a stop to it. I've got a better question for you. Why did Monarch secretly push to get my brother hired if they knew he was a threat? You wanted him there. Why? That is simply untrue. Monarch invested heavily in the university experiment. It made sense to offer our own Cronin researcher, Dr. Kim, as the lead developer on the project. Kim's death was a tragedy for us all. But when he passed, we... Don't play games with me. <laughs> Excuse me? Look, you forget that I know things I didn't back then. I know what really happened to Dr. Kim. What exactly are you inferring? You want me to tell the truth? That it goes both ways. Well, what have we got here? Oh, great. Shotgunner advancing on hostile. Mother. You want to talk this out? 